Don't you hate it when you step on the end of your shoelace and then you go to lift your foot and it unties your dang shoe? God, pardon me while I tie my shoes. Anyway, World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I got a package in from my favorite place to get packages in. Mineral Exchange. So if you're not familiar with Mineral Exchange, that's uh, Rob Soltan. If you look Rob Soltan, spell it like it sound on YouTube here. Rob, S-O-L-T-A-N. He's got a really cool channel. He hasn't made any videos in a long time. So I think he's just too busy with his precious metals auction house. I'm trying to break into this thing without jacking it up. So I was kind of surprised that I won this. There's two labels. Why is there two labels? I gotta put that side down. Man, this knife is not for slicing. One of these days I'm gonna cut into something important. All right, really well packaged. I see paper in here. So I, I bid on this and just threw out a bid. I was like, eh, I'll throw in a bit of this. And then uh, went to bed. And then the next morning I got up and says, you've got an invoice. Actually, I bid on a few different things. Bam, all right. I bid on a few items and uh, just said, all right, just Hail Mary passes. Sticker. Some of you, I usually, I've got a bunch of these stickers, so I'll actually write on the back. I give these out. When I send out mail, sometimes I'll include one of these. Regifted from Mineral, mineral Exchange. WMW. There we go. So somebody will end up getting that. And I love my Surefire pen. This company rules. They took care of me. So anyway, the main event here, what you came to see, I got a Hang Seng Bank 20 ounce gold ingot. This is the God of Wealth gold ingot. 20 grams. I paid I, I, I got to smoke a deal on this. I, I would buy 20 of these if I could for the same price. I paid $1,208 for it. So let's do some math. 1208 divided by 20 grams. 20 grams equals $60.40 per gram times 31.1 grams to a troy ounce. That means I paid $1,878 per troy ounce for this vintage gold piece, which that's a steal. That's a screaming deal, especially at today's prices. So the bank, uh, information's on the back. This is a screw capsule. Let's see, I don't have gloves, so we're just gonna send it. Look at that, holy cow, is that reflective? Looks almost like a copper spot over there, which I don't think is uh, any big deal. Let me try and gouge it out with my knife. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. What are you, nuts? Wouldn't that be weird to just take a big old knife, just start cranking on it? Nope, that wasn't copper. That was just a flake of dust that I just put a big gouge in my bar. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see how close we can get. Which camera lens brings this out the best? Yeah, that is a copper spot, I think. If not, it doesn't matter. This is a thick bar. It's pretty large. Look at that, another copper spot on the front. That is super cool. I am super stoked to get this. Uh, thank you so much, Rob Soltan, for putting together a, uh, an auction house just for vintage collectors like myself. I uh, I think this is awesome. I think uh, um, Santa Georgie, I'm gonna actually tag him in this. 
because I, he might know more about this. I don't know a lot about this kind of stuff, and this is my first Hang Sang Bank piece. I almost bought one not too long ago on eBay. I wonder if there's, is there paperwork in here? Let me try and get this out. Eek. I'm all paranoid. I need to put things away. So has this come apart? It looks like there might be... It looks like the back might open. It does open. I didn't want to cram my knife in there. So let's see what's on uh, this. All right, according to the Chinese tradition, the God of Wealth symbolized prosperity and is widely regarded as an incarnation of affluence. That's interesting. So this is the, uh, this is made by the Royal Mint, which is my favorite mint, my favorite sovereign mint. Look at that, it's got the ingot number, the certify assay card. Man, this is super cool. I was super lucky to get this. Um, yeah, so I am super stoked. Um, I don't think I'll find a deal like this again in a long time. So I'll put a link down below to uh, Rob Sultan's uh, website, Mineral Exchange, where you can get deals like this too and outbid me and make me sad. Anyway, that is a kind of a really cool capsule. I don't know which, which side to have out. This side, or, I'll probably have the bank side out because I like to collect bank related bars. I think the Rob Soltan sticker almost fits in there. Anyway, that's it for this video, this unboxing of vintage gold. This thing is so cool. I am so excited to have this in my collection. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I've uh, bought a few fractional gold things this month, but next month, January, is uh, the beginning of the fractional gold fiesta, FGF, or hashtag FGF 2024, if you want to get in on the challenge where you buy some fractional gold every month. And uh, anyway, that's it. I'm just going to sit here and stare at this for a while. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.